Meeting the health needs of a community, that is the goal of health care provider Primary One Health. And to touch more lives, they are opening two new health centers in what might be considered the heartbeat of any community, schools. NBC4 Sierra Johnson joins us now with details on this expansion project. It's going to make a difference. It definitely will. For so many communities, the school represents a center of growth, a safe space, and a community for gathering. And for those reasons, Columbus-based Primary One Health is breaking ground at two public school sites for their latest community health centers. What we looked at is where we could meet children and where we could advance health care for an underserved population. And CEO of Primary One Health, Charlita B. Tavares, says for those reasons, creating two school-based health centers was a no-brainer. This is a natural, you're meeting children where they are. It's ensuring, in a phrase that I've coined, that they're ready to learn, and for adults, they're ready to earn. Tavares says by May of 2023, two Central Ohio school districts will become home to those centers. Columbus City Schools North International Global Academy, located on the city's north side, will undergo a renovation process to create the center. And a former bus depot near Groveport Madison High School will receive a facelift for its health center. Both locations will provide comprehensive primary, pediatric, oral health, and behavioral health care, as well as treatment for substance use disorders. And those services will be available to students as well as the community. The studies have shown that when you have a school-based health center for the children while they're in school, that you have less absenteeism, you have higher graduation rates, and parents don't have to take off to take their children to the doctor or to the dentist or the optometrist. Tavares says getting to this point was a collaborative effort. It's a collaboration between the school districts, the state of Ohio. We receive funds from the Ohio Department of Education, Department of Health to provide for these school-based health centers. Each center will have secure entrances and parents of school-age patients will sign off on the treatment of their children. And as the nation works to navigate whatever new health challenges or outbreaks, Tavara says these two school-based centers will have the flexibility to pivot. If there's a need for more services in one area or maybe there's some specialty services that we hadn't planned on, we'll work with the school system to develop those services. And Tavares tells me she hopes this is the start of a larger movement to create more all-encompassing school-based health centers. Carrie. All right, Sierra, thanks.